Mm, how are you guys liking Leroy? Man, he looks so cheap. Same with Ganra. You both of them look really good. Really good. Man, I wish there wasn't such a long break for... Uh, fuck Leroy, dude. Look, I told you the moment I started playing Leroy, I told you, if you're not playing Leroy, you're finna get pissed. Okay? Either you like Leroy... Or you don't like playing. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it is. He's good, and he's gimmicky, and he's cheap. He's got a ton of move, turn steel moves, where, you know, the standard honest style of Tekken, it just gets thrown out the window. He's full of turn steals. High crush, low crush, safe, plus home block. I mean, parries, you know. If you don't like playing Leroy... You better play Re Leroy. That's what you got to do. Reloy. You got to play him. That's what you got to do. You can't beat him. You got to join him. Join that shit. What's the big deal? You know? Man, Ganryu is crazy good too. That's probably like a game development thing. Where if you're going to put a DLC in, it's way better to make that shit cheap. Make it real, not cheap in price. Make it the opposite. Make it worth everyone's price, uh, money. Right? Make that shit pay to win. I bet you that's a that's a thing. That can, both those characters seem really good. But Leroy especially. Leia and Anna weren't that good on launch. Yeah, you're right. But you know, maybe they learned their lessons. Maybe they were like, well, you know, maybe we should make our characters cheap as fuck at launch. I guess Armor King wasn't that good either, but Marduk was good at launch, and is still good, and Leroy just seems really good to me. Oh, I also heard uh, some weird uh, theory, someone said that they scrapped Street Fighter, or no, Tekken Cross Street Fighter and are using the assets for Sagat, that's like a fucking crazy, like, uh... Tin foil hat theory, but for the offer. you know it could be. Man, what is going on with Leroy? The whole Tekken community is up in arms because Leroy is so cheap. I don't know if you agree with me, but to me, in an era before hot fixing and patching, Leroy would be exciting. But to me. Releasing an, a character now that's that cheap, it's almost guaranteed. I mean, it is guaranteed. It's not almost guaranteed. He's going to get nerfed. So, it almost takes away the allure of learning the character when you know that the things that you learn are going to be obsolete before the competitive season starts. I don't know about you, but I try to learn things that I'm going to take with me till death. You know? That's the type of shit I want to learn. I want to learn shit that's going to last. I don't want to learn something and fill my hard drive with all kinds of info that's going to be temporary. You know? But. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. It's discouraging. But maybe I, I maybe people want to play an overpowered character. Maybe that's inviting. Like, oh, I want to play an overpowered character. But to me, it's kind of discouraging. It makes you not want to try the character because you, you're... I'll just wait for him to be finished. I have that attitude with a lot of video games. Like, there are beta tests, and I, I just think to myself, nah... Why don't we just wait till it's ready? But I might be a minority here. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with saying minority? Isn't that word okay? Or can I not say that either? It's going to be hard to... I'm going to have slim pickings soon. Soon enough. In the next 10 years. Cutting my vocabulary in half. 